What are your thoughts on Dominica's hospital, the healthcare? What are your thoughts? <laughs> Our healthcare system has come a long way. Mm. Um, we had a lot of challenges. Mm. And because of that, I think our general public has this, general, this view that we are not at the standard that we should be. Well, I mean, if you are sick, there are three points we have to go, but um, mm. in, uh, in the area of things to be done, there is a lot to be done. I have a lot of views, mm. because my stepfather is Dr. Sam, I'm telling mm. about it, yeah? Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. Dr. Sam is a, is a doctor, um, right? Mm, yeah. That's a man that maybe has some kind of finance. And mm. Somebody up there to help, but what about the small person? Yeah, the healthcare system. Mm. <laughs> I guess a lot of about healthcare system. All I know, nothing else good in Dominica. If something like that happened to me, come mm. on, you know. Mm. So I think we need that for everybody. Mm. Everybody can get help. Everybody mm. can get that special kind of help, not just for one person. Mm. Everybody should be equal. Mm. Everybody should be equal. Everybody should be getting the same treatment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Once you finish the hospital and thing, I figure it will be on the way up. Maybe it will be on the way up, but presently I figure it's, you know, mm. because I understand women making children on the floor. What are your thoughts on healthcare in Dominica? Healthcare in Dominica? Mm. It's non existence, that is. Some people have it. There's no healthcare in Dominica. You check it. Better, better, better. We want the better. I have not been to hospital. Mm. Maybe since I was six. Mm. You're very healthy. <laughs> I swear, every time somebody goes to hospital, they die in hospital. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't really know nothing much about the hospital because I was there in 2016 for blood clot. Mm. And everything went good for me, mm. but not for other people. I went there to make children. Okay, okay, okay. And that was it. Make the child and uh, Yeah, I got <laughs> international and the after. You are yes, the child. <laughs> right? Ryan, everybody can have views about that machine not working, this machine not working. Mm. We suffered a really huge storm mm. and we've had serious challenges with human resource. Mm. So because of that, you find that we may not always meet the optimum level of care that we would like to give mm. to the people that mm. we are giving care to. Everything can solve that problem. Needs improvement. Number one, I will say the materials that they look, take to prepare the hospital is mm. not, not up to par. Not up to par. Mm. First of all, mm. they need to fix that hospital. Mm. They need to fix the hospital. Mm. That is why the hurricane was stronger there. We would not mm. have a hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have doctors, but all of them go in mm. because like they don't have the pay not enough or whatever. There is a baby. Our primary care system also is depleted because the money source of nurses have moved. Mm. But I think if the general public just gives a bit of patience, mm. I think we'll get back on our feet. Um, there are things that I think we can do a lot better. Mm. You understand? But it also means that we have to get the support from the people who are coming to the system so they can guide us. Mm in where they think that we are lacking. See, a couple months ago, mm. my, a member of my family was there. Mm. And honestly, it was not too bad. Mm. That was what I would do. But it needed a little bit. No, excuse me, sir. Pre-bumping. Right. This is OK. Mm. And he thought that he was not eating the food because that is just very strange thing to young people like him. Mm. Treatment wasn't too bad. Mm. The upkeeping of the hospital was not too bad. I mean, mm. trying to. Mm. But you see, with us in Dominica, you will see some of our families have a very good element. But it's all of us business. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So what do you think about the local doctors themselves now? Well, the local doctors, well, they say all the good doctors we are there went away. Mm. The, if the country, it's a young country go backwards, but still let your country go forward. So mm. if they come back, that will be a good thing for mm. us. As for saying of doctors and nurses, I do know because the last time I went to the hospital was 17 years ago. Mm, mm, mm. That's a long time. Very long. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time. Uh, it's a long time.
if there is clean, it's for all of us. Mm. If it is not clean, it's mm. for all of us. Mm. You understand? So we have in Dominica have to do to unite, to organize, to speak when you are spoken to or to speak for the betterment of certain places and certain mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to be done. It, it's so much, you know, where mm -hmm. to start, you don't know, but you just have to, you know, pray to God and that God will intervene and hope for mm -hmm. the best. Because yeah. we really need the best, trust me. Boy, I just figured this would boost up the system. At, at least a hospital is supposed to be boost up. Mm -hmm. To so a higher you, level. You don't have enough. We don't have enough Medical work. facilities. Mm, why is that? Because we don't have enough money. We don't, we don't know how to make money. We need jobs and things, you know, to mm. help ourselves personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're an independent person. Yeah, you want I agree. to see you doing yeah, your stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly. I mean, for me, I hope for the best mm. for mm. my country. Mm. You know, I believe we can do much better. Well, we need to bring people in, bring mm. in better equipment. Mm. Get better doctors. High and low, my partner, they just need to, 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 to boost up the city. Mm. Yeah, because for years, I mean, after um, mm. in 2000 and whatever, we need to boost that up. Half of the doctors in Dominica, they don't really qualify and they don't even know how to do their job. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. All of us are human beings. I think we mm. deserve the best. They'll tell you you have cancer mm. when you don't have cancer and maybe just an infection or something. Mm. Mm. And, and they give you a diagnosis and then they kill you. We are not at a very bad place mm. in comparison to other places who may have had this destruction for other places who may be third world country. Mm. But um, I still think that we can give a little more. We the patients that are there mm. and the patient's family that are coming to the hospital mm. supposed to try to help mm. to keep the tidiness of the hospital. Mm. Some of them are affordable but some of them mm. are kind of expensive especially it depends on the work. Mm. You don't have much work in Dominica and yes you may want to do a test but the money is not there mm. so mm. what can you do? What mm. you know? Certain things in happening in Dominica does not really mean the doctor or the nurse. Mm. It's just equipment. Not only equipment, mm. we need to come together mm. and make sure you come to the hospital, mm. you spend a few weeks there, your room is tidy, mm. the kitchen, the um, ba kitchen, bathroom that they are going in, you keep it tidy mm. and those kind of it wait on L'Hopital Govelma, Samata mm. Femme. Mm. All of us have to put hands together. Healthcare system. Yeah. The government trying, uh, trying something. Mm. What are they trying? They're trying to reorganize it how, and how? I cannot by, by, by some decisions they have taken it's not yet on the ground so mm. that's why you don't see it so implemented yet so it's still in the planning stage well I'm working in health mm. and I'm part of management mm. and I can tell you some of the struggles that we have mm. so what are some of them well I mean for example as I'm saying mm. lack of human resources is a major issue mm. all right mm. and when you don't have the human resource to get the stuff that you want to done mm. It poses a challenge for you. Mm. You have to be wearing different hats, you have to be bouncing around, mm. you have to be using bigger stuff. Well, I think there should be some aggression in that, actually. Mm. There should be more aggression. You think there should be some action to follow what the plans is? Yes. We need proper management. Mm. That's so, all I can say. So you think it's the fault of management why the hospital is like this? Yeah. And more information should be this yeah, to the public. To the public. Okay. There's too much um, not knowing mm, of information mm. relevant to the public. The right. alternative is mm. to get rid of this government mm. and put somebody that can do the job. Mm. That's it. What, what would be the alternative? You say getting better um, medical facilities and this kind of things there. But yeah, if that is not happening, then what can That's we do? Yeah, what you used to use before. Mm, that the olden yeah. folks, what we used to use before. Sorry, what our ancestors oh. used to use. So really, from a management point of view, it's not that you don't know where some of your gaps are, mm. but your hands are tied behind your back to manage mm. them, mm. to confront them. What alone I know, Basile? Basile, what alone I know? 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 Because if you were to juggle employees sometimes, you're still gonna be falling flat. That's it. Nice. And that, that's one of the things I also heard that they're like lacking nurses and stuff. Exactly. And then you have nurses doing a lot of things and they're not getting the right, you know, backing for it. So, so you have to also look at this problem. So we have to be a little pragmatic. Right? <laughs> okay, I bless you. <laughs>